Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be smoking a chuck roast. Now, what we have here is a two and a quarter, between two and a quarter and two and a half pound uh, U.S. Choice chuck roast, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to put this out on our Weber using the uh, slow and sear. And we're going to smoke this for, uh, you know, until we get to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Then we're going to wrap it and then we're going to shoot it all the way up to 196, 200 degrees. Just like we normally do a brisket or a pork butt or, or anything of that nature. What we're trying to do here is uh, get uh, fall apart beef here so that we can uh, make some great sandwiches. Okay. Uh, the seasoning, now you can use any seasoning on this that you want to, normal salt and pepper. I wouldn't use anything with any sugar in it because we're talking about beef here, not pork or chicken. So uh, you can use salt and pepper if you want to, like a 50-50 blend of salt and pepper. You can use your favorite uh, beef rub or what have you. Uh, but what we're using today is we're using a rub from uh, Chef Polite. Chef Polite, the, uh, the man that uh, created It's Only Food, the YouTube channel. Uh, he sent us two seasonings and this is one of them. It's called Insane Steak and Chop Blend, okay? So we're gonna be, he sent this to me a while ago and, and I've been long overdue to try to use this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and use it today. Now I tasted this seasoning and it's not overly salty. It's got some great onion flavor in it, some other seasoning flavors in it. The, uh, the bits in here are, are pretty large, almost kind of like the uh, McCormick Steak seasoning, large bits of seasoning. Um, what I did was, though, since we're going to be rubbing this all over this chuck roast, I took the seasoning and I put it in one of my spice blenders and I kind of uh, cut it down to a smaller size just to give it a, a better spread on, onto the meat here. Uh, because it's not uh, overly salty and things, I'm going to start off with a, a light coat of 50-50 uh, blend of salt and pepper, just a little bit to give it a base coat, and then we're going to go back over it with uh, Chef Polite's uh, steak and chop blend. So, hey, don't go nowhere, hang around. We'll go ahead and do this short prep work. We'll show you throwing it out there on the Weber and we'll see just what we come up with. So, hang around. Okay, so here we have our chuck roast. Now we've already uh, took the liberty of cutting out some of those hard areas of fat that we know that won't render. Uh, here's one that we missed. So we're gonna cut that out the center right quick because just like trimming a brisket or trimming a, a pork butt, there are pockets of fat, of that hard white fat that just won't render during the cooking process and it's not very good eating. So we're gonna take a few of those out. Here seems to be another small vein, so I'm gonna hit that right quick. Okay, so next we're gonna put a very light coat of olive oil on our beef just enough to uh, to get the seasonings to stick. Here's another one of those hard pockets of fat that I missed so let me try to get that out of there. Alright so we got that out now let's go ahead and put our base coat of, uh, of salt and pepper and we just want to put a light light coat on it Give it a base. All right. Do the same thing to the other side. And now we're gonna put our rub on. All right. So, and I don't know if you can tell, but it is. Uh, there's some large pieces in here, and I'll give you a zoom up look once we're finished to show you the large pieces of seasoning that Chef Polite has put together in here, and. Uh, I'm going to give you the contact information, his website and things of that nature, in order for you to go out there and order some for yourself if you want to try it. I'm going to get all the sides and everything. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish seasoning this meat here, and then I will meet you out at the grill.
Okay guys, so now that our uh, chuck roast is almost ready to come off the uh, smoker at 160 degrees, we're going to go ahead and do part two of this cook. So what we have here, we have some onions that are already peeled and we're just cutting these bad boys into rings and we're going to use these in the pan in which we're going to use to cover the, the pork roast, okay? So these are two sweet Vidalia onions. And we're just cutting them into large rings. Like so. Okay. So we got that done. Now we're taking our pan. And this is the pan we're going to put our chuck roast in. So we just want to break these onions apart. And you don't have to have them totally broken apart. It's just going to be something for the chuck roast to sit on. And then we're going to use these onions in the final taste test when we make our, our sandwich. Okay. But these onions are going to cook down. So that's why we use two whole onions. All right. So we got our pan full of onions here. All right. Okay, guys. So now that we have our onions cut up and things, we want to make a, a put some beef broth in the bottom of the pan, give the uh, chuck roast some moisture and things of the nature uh, while it's cooking up to 190 degrees. So what we're going to be using is we got a, an 11 ounce uh, Guinness extra stout and we're going to put that in our pot here. Turn this on and turn this on low. Now what I want to do is I just want to bring this up to a a simmer. I just want to warm it because you don't want to put room temperature or cold liquid inside your meat in that pan because it's really going to jack up the temperature, okay? And then we're going to just put equal amounts of beef broth. All right, there we go. So we're going to let that warm right quick. We're going to go get our meat as soon as this warms up. We're going to put it in the pan. We're going to cover it with foil. We'll stick it back out there on the Weber. We're going to wait till it get up to 190 degrees. So, hey, don't go nowhere. Okay guys, so you can see we've pulled our chuck roast off of the Weber. It's got a great color to it. You can see the seasoning things from the Chef Poilit's steak and chopped rub. We've got our onions here, so we're going to just pour our mixture of beef broth and Guinness beer right around the, the sides of it. There we go. All right. So, and then we're going to take some foil. We're going to wrap that up tight. And we're going to put it back out on the smoker until it reaches 109, between 196 and 200 degrees and hopefully we'll have some nice tender pulled beef okay so hey don't go nowhere while we put this out there on the grill okay guys so we're finished with our cook it took us about six and a half hours or so to cook our chuck roast it got up to 201 degrees so uh it, it came out perfect. The room smells fantastic, man. You can smell the beef, the onion, and things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and uncover this. Now, we let this rest for about a half an hour to 45, well, between 30 and 45 minutes or so. So we're about ready to take it out. So we're going to go ahead and uncover this here. Oh, my goodness. i got to give you guys a close-up look at this. You can see the onions have sauteed inside of the broth that was the beef and the Guinness beer. You can still see the amount of seasoning on the beef. And let's see. So we're going to go ahead and actually we're going to chop this up. We're not going to pull it. So I'll put this on my cutting board here. All right. And got it on our knife. And we're going to get us some chopped beef here. Okay. 
And I'm only going to chop a portion of this because I want to just make a sandwich and taste, see exactly how, to, how it came out. So I'm chop this up. Just like they do chopped pork or chopped chicken, we're doing chopped chuck roast. Okay. Now, because of the amount of, of fat in it and the connective tissue, um, it, it didn't pull apart as easily as I would have wanted it to. So that's why we switched to a chopped beef instead of a pulled beef. Okay. So, and it, it did get to a temperature of 201 degrees and we let it rest. So it may have tightened up a little bit, but it still smells fantastic. All right, so here's our chopped beef. Let me give you guys a close-up look at this. You can see it has a fantastic smoke ring on it. It's still moist. It's juicy. That smoke ring is fantastic. With the herbs from uh, Chef John Polite's rub on there. So I can't wait to have a taste test. All right. So let's have a quick taste test. Oh man. Oh, that is actually fantastic. Wow. You give me a paper towel here. It tastes fantastic. It's not overly salty. And like I said, Chef John Polite's rub is not very salty. Has some great onion flavors, some great herb flavors. It's got some great bowl flavors, but it's not overly salty, so that's fantastic. That's why that first base of salt and pepper that I put on here worked out very well. It's very moist. Love it. Now, mmm. Nice little smoky flavor to it. Wow. This tastes great. I cannot wait to make a sandwich. So, hey. When you're cooking something like this, I know I use the Guinness beer, but you don't have to. You can use just straight beef broth if you want to, or you can put something else in there with your beef if you want to. You know, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, we at Bad Beast Barbecue always cook with a little liquor every now and then. So, but let's go ahead and make a sandwich and, uh, and see how this thing tastes and give you a final taste test. So, hold on. Okay, so what we have here is a simple onion roll that we bought from the store that we've cut in half, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay down a base layer of a little sweet baby rays. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to put some of these sauteed onions on our sandwich out of the beef broth and everything. Yep, that looks fantastic. All right. And next, we're going to take some of our chopped beef, our chopped chuck, put right on top, our onions, like so, yep, pile it high baby, pile it high, all right, mm. and last, but certainly not least, a little sweet baby rays to bring it all together, all right. Put that right on top. But hey, isn't that a fantastic looking sandwich? All right. So let's go ahead and have a quick taste test. Hopefully, I don't waste beef all over the place. Mm. Mm. Wow. Ooh, that is fantastic. So this came out without a hitch. Fantastic cook. Mmm. Chef John Polite, you got a fantastic product here. This is some great stuff. Guys, go out to uh, Chef John Polite's website, and I'll put the contact information in the description block. And uh, check out, he has like five or six different spices out here. This is the steak and chop one. This came out fantastic. Great cook here. Once again, you don't have to use the Guinness beer like I did. You can use the straight beef broth. Get you a chuck roast. Chuck roast is real cheap. And make you something fantastic to eat. Well... That's all we have time for tonight. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. I'm going to go sit somewhere with this blue moon.
and finish this onion roll and this chuck roast. Have a happy new year. Be safe out there. See you around the smoker.